Welcome to our lecture online. In the second example of how to find a sequence given the formula for the n term in the sequence, we encounter something that's kind of unique, special for sequences. We have the number negative 1 raised to the n power. What that will do is that will give us alternating signs in the sequence. So that's why this example is here. We can see how that's done. But again, the procedure is about the same. We're going to find every consecutive, starting with the first a term in the sequence and we do that as follows we go a sub 1 is equal to all we do here is replace every n in the formula by the number 1 so in this case that's minus 1 to the first power times 1 which is going to be minus 1 times 1 which is negative 1 so that's the first number in the sequence the first term or the first number a sub 2 is equal to negative 1 to the second power times 2. Of course, when we take a negative number and we, we square it, we raise it to an even exponent that becomes a positive number. So this is positive 1 times 2, which is 2. Then we find the, ter the third term. So this is negative 1 to the third power. Now notice again that will become a negative 1. And we multiply times 3, which is negative 1 times 3, which is negative 3. And the fourth term, a sub 4, is equal to negative 1. Now again, it's raised to an even exponent. That becomes positive again. So times 4, which is 1 times 4, which is a positive 4. And now I think you can see the pattern. The next one is going to be negative 5. Then it's going to be positive 6, negative 7, positive 8, and so forth. You, again, you can find it by just completing this process. Then, if we want to write it, what the sequence is, the sequence therefore becomes negative 1, positive 2, negative 3, positive 4, negative 5, positive 6, negative 7, positive 8, and the pattern continues like that forever if it's an infinite sequence, and that is how it's done. Can you find it, the sequence, or a formula using the sequence? It seems to be harder to do it the other way around. It's harder, definitely. This, it's easier to do it this way, it's harder to go the other way, that's right. Yeah, that well, you would be able to figure it out because you know the numbers are consecutive, right? So there's an N in there starting from 1, 2, 3, 4. And then when you see the alternating signs, that makes you think about something like this. Yeah, so now you can see how you go this way. It makes it e easier to see how to go the other direction. Yep, but it is harder to go the other direction. 